welcome back to my channel. Today we're actually going to be doing a quad coil build and I'm really excited about doing it. So um, we're going to be doing it today on the Competition B2 RDA. And when you get it, it comes in this nice little tin and then there you go. You can actually do up to six coils on it, but today we're just going to do the four coils on it. So let's go ahead and okay, get started. So we're going to get started and we're going to be building on the Competition V2 Vape Breed Competition Addy. And when you open it up, it comes like this. And you'll also get some goodies in the bottom, an Allen key, some O-rings, a couple coils um, that you can use. Um, we're going to be making our own today. And then you've got the RDA. And the RDA is really cool. It's um, it says the Vape Breed on, version two on one side, and then on the other side you've got the VB for the Vape Breed. Um, it also comes with a uh, a lot of <laughs> airflow holes. So it comes with the three little dots on the bottom, and then you've got these two here, and you can actually close them off so that you leave only the two, the three on the bottom. Or you can have the one on the bottom and then the one in the middle or you can just have the ones on the bottom so I mean you've got a lot of different choices here for the airflow so we shouldn't be having any problem with airflow so let's go ahead and put this on my coil master 521 mini so we can go ahead and take the cap off and get started and there we go and this is the um the base and like i said in the intro you can make up to six coils in it you can put three on this side you can put three on this side you can do one on each side you can do two on each side this this rda you can do a lot of different types of builds so it's kind of cool that way the airflow that i was mentioning here the three dots that were on the bottom of the rda here um what happens is that the air actually goes in and then up. So you get a lot of airflow, um, not to not even including the, the other two that are on the top. So this is definitely an airflow Addy. Um, I've had it for a little bit and wanted to do a nice um, quad build, so that's what we're gonna do today. So for the quad build, what we're gonna be using is the 26 gauge stainless steel 316 wire. And I've actually already cut some pieces. I've already made three of the four coils and I'm going to make the last one with you. And this is how they came out. We're doing 14 wraps and it's a, on a three millimeter jig. So this is what we have. And we'll go ahead and make that. And what you will need is you'll need some scissors. Um, I use these to hold it. Your pliers, your cutters, your ceramic tweezers and um, your needle nose um, tweezers. I use that especially for the cotton. So we'll go ahead and get started. So first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and make sure that I loosen all these and I'm gonna be using the two top and the two bottom. So let's go ahead and unscrew this, of course. To unscrew them, it, it's a lot easier if I take this off. Or you can see them. And I'm just using mine, but it does come with an Allen key. But this one I had in another box, so we'll go ahead and unscrew those. And we want to take them out so that the holes, and these are really, really big holes, as you can see. Very big holes. So we're going to be able to fit the wire with no problem. You can, you can definitely do um, bigger builds, but we're going to be using the 26 gauge today. And just loosen those up. And loosen these up. And to save time, like I said, I've already wrapped um, three of the coils and I'm just gonna show you how to wrap the fourth one. Um, not that you don't know how, but that way you can see that I did wrap them. <laughs> and let's go, we'll put that back on there. Sometimes it turns in a way that I can um, loosen the bolt sometimes it doesn't like see now it's gonna give me a problem when I go to do it but we'll work that out so go ahead and put that there again we've got the these three here so I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap this one like I usually do using my coil jig 
And I'm just gonna put it in the hole there and get it started. And to make them nice and tight, I'm gonna use this. And I'm just gonna wrap it 14 times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh, there's another one. So I've gone ahead and got that one and I'm just gonna straighten out the other end like I usually do. And there we go. So, see, 14 wraps. So go ahead and take this off and like I usually do, I do like to use my screwdriver when I'm doing this so that it helps me um, place them in the holes. And we're gonna do be using the same holes for two. So the bottom two are gonna get one, the bottom two are gonna get one here. So go ahead and put that in, put this one in. You know, camera is a little bit difficult, but we got it. I want to make sure it's in focus. So go ahead and put those in there. And I'm just going to pull these back so that I can put the other two in. Take that out. It does make it a little bit more difficult when you are um, putting them in the same spot. So there we go. Are in the same holes, so let's go ahead and do that. And put this one in this one, and this one in this one. And push those through. And what we're gonna have to do is try to hold these in place while we screw them down. So I've got that one in there, I've got this one in there. Let's go ahead and screw the bottom ones in. Should get my other Allen key because it'll make it so much easier and I'm just gonna hold these in and screw that one down. The most difficult part of this is actually just trying to get the two wires in the same hole and tighten them down together because we'll straighten them out afterward. I want to hold it, and of course, the way that this thing is set up. It's going to be a little bit more difficult, but we will get this. take the longest amount of time apparently. I was trying to be quicker about it to have the coils already done but basically you get the gist of it. Okay so we got that. So let's go ahead and start straightening them out. I'm just gonna use my little handy dandy screwdriver. Straighten that out. Bring this one out. In the middle. That's the fun part is um, putting them in place. <laughs> and then we can go ahead and clip our leads. Be careful not to clip the coils. So let's go ahead and clip the long ones first. I'm trying to make sure it's in focus. Get that one done. Go ahead and get this one done. There we go. So we've got those done. And then we can work on the top two. Oh. Just 
just even those out a little bit, which we will be evening out a little bit more once we get the other two up also. So let's go ahead and work on the other two, shall we? I hope you can see that. And then I'll do the other one. And be very careful of the wire. It is very sharp. I already nicked myself, but that's cool. I do it a lot. <laughs> I just don't let anybody see, but yeah, I get cut. The one in there. And the other one in here. You know would help if I make one shorter than the other. So let's go ahead and clip a little bit off of here. There you go. Makes it much better. A lot easier. She got one in there and then the other one in here. Oops. Keep those there. And move those up to try to keep them in place. And let's go ahead and tighten that one down. It's a lot harder when you're trying to look through the camera lens. There we go. And tighten the other side. So, then straighten these up. I start like concentrating on what I'm doing, and I totally forget that I'm on camera. I gotta do a little bit of talking. So far, they're looking really pretty. Let's go ahead and cut those leads, shall we? Let's start on this one. There we go. Actually, what I'm going to do, whenever you get those extra long pieces, I don't know if you can see it, I just bend them down so that they're not touching the other wire, especially if I can't get too close without clipping the other one. These are real thin, so they're pretty easy to bend down. There go, and there we go. So let's go ahead and work on fixing these up because my OCD is killing me. So I'd like them as perfect as possible. I pride myself in my builds, so I'll make sure that they look good and nice and even. Oops, how do you like them? Looking nice, and it wasn't too difficult. Just the difficult part is putting them in the same holes. That's basically going to be the hardest part here. Um, even the wicking isn't as hard as that. So, there we go, and yeah, lower this one down a little bit. A sharp piece out of there. And there we go, quad coil build. So let's go ahead and do what we usually do and we'll check the resistance. And of course, I think my battery is going. Maybe because it's not done. 
probably the battery. There we go, 0.27. So we'll go ahead and start firing that. And see how we do. We do want them to all fire evenly. There goes the bottom ones. So we'll just go ahead and strum them. Move this one back a little bit. Just, and then we'll tighten them too. Go. Make sure that they're all tight. Because sometimes that can be it too. Tighten it down. Tighten it down. watching all this okay good <laughs> I couldn't see if you could see so yes all right and keep firing I'm just pulsing I want to burn them out starting to heat up you see it Oh, they're so pretty. Wish I could take a picture. Take a picture. <laughs> Colors are beautiful. There we go. Oh, yeah. So you can see from this angle. Yep. Looking pretty. I'll straighten this one up a little bit more. It's almost like artwork. Okay, so, got them all burning. Going great. All right, so, got them all burning. Nice and even, and now it's time to cool it off and wick it up. So, let's get the wick okay, ready. Okay, so now that we've got these, we're going to go ahead and wick it. Just so you can see, look how nice they are. They're nice and cooled down. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a cotton square today. Because I'm going to be making four, and it's easier to keep them even. And I like to stretch it out. So I'm going to stretch this out just a little bit, get more, it makes it a little bit fluffier, I think. Um, but then again, everybody's got their own, so you do what you like to do for your cotton. That is perfectly fine. This is just my prerogative. So I'm just going to go ahead and stretch it out a little bit. And I'm going to take off this extra piece. Again, you don't have to. You can use any cotton that you want. It's not like a recipe where you have to have the exact same <laughs> thing. It's going to wick no matter how you're used to doing it. So this is just to show you a little quad coil build. Nothing fancy, nothing perfect. And I'm going to go ahead and cut my pieces. I'm just going to cut like right about there. Two and three and four. I'm trying to keep them just about the same. Sorry about the TV in the background. The kids are watching TV, so depending on the volume, it gets kind of loud and not. Go ahead and bring this over. And like I usually do, again, you do it your way, but I like to start twisting in the middle and bringing it out and twist it up. And what we're going to be doing is actually making the top one a little bit shorter than the bottom one. So we'll go ahead and start on the bottom and bring that through. Get the next one. See, not too loose, not too tight. 
And we'll do the next one. Again, from the inside out. And I'm really excited to vape this. <laughs> I haven't done a quad coil build in a while, so. Yep. Let's get that through there. Without touching the other one. It's easier when you don't have nails, but I like my nails, so. <laughs> Uh, keeping them. There we go. This one still looks a little bit crooked to me. There we go. Again, sorry about that, guys. But yeah, doesn't have to be perfect, except for for me. <laughs> so again, twisting, just twisting, doing the bottom first and the top. Sometimes the ends work for me. Sometimes they don't. This one's not going to. We'll try the other end. Okay, get you in there. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Not too tight, not too loose. And the fourth one. We're almost done, guys. That in there. Okay, we'll go start. And there we go. We've got them all in there. So now to start cutting the cotton. And I'm just gonna just brush it out a little bit. Fluff it up. Fluff it up, fluff it up. And then we'll start cutting. Now for the bottom one, cut about right here. And check it. Let's see how that goes. Tuck, 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 tuck. Yeah, that's going to be good. I'll thin it out just a little bit. And then we're going to cut the top. And I just wanted to lay on that one. Do that. All right, blends it together. No, it might be just a little bit too long. Okay, I'll go ahead and tuck that in. This is where those needle nose tweezers come in handy. And I want to make sure that the airflow is open. Let's see, let's zoom in a little bit. The airflow is open. It's not blocking the airflow, but they're both together, so they're both going to get the um, juice. Start cutting this one. And cut this one just a little bit shorter. And I'm just going to do the same thing and just come through. a little bit of a cotton mess going on here. Just like them blended together and then we'll go ahead and take those and put them in here too. And get that one in. Just making sure not to block that airflow. Okay, so we've got the one side in there, not blocking the airflow. Nice and open right there. We'll go ahead and do the other side. Again, you can do the wicking however you like it. Some people like to make the top longer and bottom longer. There's 
no real right or wrong way to do it as long as it's wicking and it's getting juice that's you know to the coil that's that's what we need that's it okay put that one in there these tweezers are awesome again not in the airflow you can see right through it still Let's see this one out of course it was out of the camera yeah let's go ahead and put that in shall we last one we're almost done here now we finally get to vape it yep making sure it's in there Okay, so we're good now to juice her up. Okay, so there we go. All nice and wet. So now to juice and bake. Yes. <laughs> My two favorite parts. And today I'm going to be using the Adrenaline Vapors <laughs> Kick in the Balls. <laughs> I just, I love the name of this one. I just, it makes me laugh every time I say it. And this is, um, I think this is the, yeah, this is the blueberry, blueberry blend. This is good. And we're just going to go ahead and wick that up. Or juice it up, rather. Don't want to get it in the airflow. So, like that. There we go. Let me see what I have this on. Oh, good. Down 52, so start heating it up. I cheat and put a little bit in the middle, which is a good thing for the two post deck. Okay, so here we go. Get all the cotton off of here. The juice is on my finger. And yeah, this is a 52. And it's reading at 0.28. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can. 0.28, and we'll bring it up a little bit. Oh, yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and put it together and take a vape and see how she vapes. Okay. So we've got it all built and wicked and ready to go, ready to vape. And I've actually got on 61. We'll turn this up and we're on 70. Okay. I've got all the airflows open. First time building on it and vaping on it. So let's see how she vapes. Awesome flavor. It's got to be the stainless steel. It is kind of whistly. I'm going to try to close it down and see. I'm going to keep the bottom open. And I want to try it with the one, the bottom open and one closed. So I'm going to try it like that. So. I've got that one open, that one closed, and that open. So, let's see how that goes. Even better flavor. Yeah, I like that one so far. Definitely good flavor. Why don't we try closing both on top? 
see. Okay, so we've got both clothes on the top and just the bottom open. And yeah, let's try it. Even more flavor, awesome flavor. Um, it is a lot more restricted. Another thing I did forget to mention is that it does have the spitback guard automatically built into the chuff cap. So it's got the wide board chuff cap with it in there and I'm thinking I like it with the two open. So one more time. So yeah, so that was the Vape Breed RDA. And um, I also already did a review on this line here, which is the Adrenaline Vapors. I did four out of the eight. Um, if you want, I'll leave a link um, in, to that video down below. And you can take a look, kicking the balls. That's just one of their great flavors. And um, yeah, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. It's the first quad coil build that I've done on my channel. So I'm kind of excited, turned out great, loving it. Um, yeah, I'm going to be vaping this today. And um, if you have any comments, suggestions, any type of builds or videos that you would like me to do, leave it in the comments below and I'll see what I can do to accommodate that. But um, otherwise, um, vape on and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.